All right, I swear to God, it changes the face every fucking time. All right, this looks slightly better. I, I don't know what else to do. I, I feel like it's still not quite right, but I don't know. There's nothing left really for me to do. I can't make the eyes any different or anything like that. I, if you look at a picture of me, my eyebrows are still way the fuck higher than that. There's not a single face in here that will allow me to make my eyebrows as high from my eyes as they actually are. I think my eyebrows are a piece of shit. <laughs> right? So I guess that's it. That's what we're going with. All right. Uh, we're good. Let's get out of here. Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. All right, so ignore all the Creation Club stuff that's going to pop up there on the corner. Ah, that's a much better face. Look at that. That's much, 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 much better. Okay. So, as you're seeing this, you're going to see all the Creation Club stuff that's popped up. I did have some Creation Club... Creation Club? Creation Club money in my account, so I went ahead and just bought the new uh, Creation Club junk. I have had, um, I've had some specific donations for Creation Club stuff. I've had people actually request that I make Creation Club content, and it's something that... I haven't done any of them yet, um, but since I got the since I got a donation for it, I'm going to be doing it. I I just uh, I didn't expect people to actually want to see Creation Club content, I guess. But we'll be doing it. We'll be doing it. Now I don't have any custom locations in here, no random interiors or anything like that. One of the reasons I decided not to do that um, was just because you need to be able to make separate. Fight and kill Pyro. Oh no, that sounds like a man I'd like to meet. Okay, we are gonna head back down there, but I do know that we can go ahead and head up to the random uh, rancher cat or not rancher ranger cabin or whatever it is up here in the woods. I want to try to find some some fun stuff first. Okay. Anyway, so what I think I'll, I'll probably end up doing is just installing mods now, but I'm not sure what mods I'm all going to install. I'm still thinking about it. Still not entirely sure. Uh, I, I guess I'm kind of thinking that maybe we should do some, maybe some interior mods wouldn't be a bad idea, but I definitely don't think that I'm going to spend too much time installing a lot of like location mods or settlement mods right now just because I'm actually going to be doing a lot of like discovering the new settlements and then I want to go and try to build on them Sweet. or the new settlements I should say the old existing settlements I will probably be doing some wandering around I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to show what I'd actually like is I'd like you guys' opinion on this how much of this do you want to see do you just want to see main missions do you just want to see me doing like important stuff or do you just want to you know kind of see a little bit of everything and the reason I'm asking is because, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to do a lot of play off camera. So if it's something you guys would be interested in of just seeing everything, then I can go ahead and just add random videos of everything, like exploring and stuff. But I also don't want to be, like, too overzealous on adding too much stuff and make people feel like they're uh, overwhelmed by all the, the random content. So, one thing I'm doing now, and I, I did this when I originally played the game, so I'm going to end up doing a lot of things I originally did, is I came up here first because I could tell it wanted me to go down to Sanctuary. I came up here and I kept coming across these like little areas where you could take stuff, and I, it was just nice to be able to come across an area that had stuff. So that's why I'm kind of coming up here and looking around real quick. I know there's a couple buildings. We found one of them. There's one more. It's like a little cabin. That cabin, I think, has like a gun or something in it. I can't even remember. I think it's got a 10, a 10 millimeter. But it's just one of those nice things to do. Plus, if you run into enemies, they're like low level usually, and they're, you know, easy to kill. So it's basically like free points. You might as well. Plus, you can go ahead and pick up food and junk. I am not going to be playing this on survival. That is one thing that I did bring up a, a few times of bringing things or playing this on survival. I've tried, and I'll be honest, it's just an issue with the way that um, the way I have to record. I can't stop a survival game quickly to end my recordings like when I need to, and it's it's just a problem for me. So that's why I'm not going to be doing a survival. Oh, little bats. That's so why I'm not going to be doing a survival run here. Like I said earlier, I might even play it on normal instead of hard. Usually I play it on hard, very hard. I think there's a very hard setting. That's usually what I play it on. I'm just thinking for the sake of the game here. 
in the beginning it tends to actually be very hard so <laughs> maybe you guys don't want to see me fail over and over and over again maybe repeated failure is not your thing but do let me know if you want to see some wandering exploration areas or if you just want to see me go straight into main missions so my guess is unless my heart has changed and I just don't realize it I'm probably still going to be siding with the Minutemen I just find that that story arc is so much better so that's probably what we'll be going with Again, this is not going to be a spoiler-free playthrough. I'm assuming you've already played the game. I'm also assuming you probably watch my mod reviews. And your whole goal of watching this is to watch me be an idiot. Aha! Attack Googie! I don't actually want to hurt you, dog. I kind of love you. Already. I don't even know you, but you're a dog, and that's all that matters. All right, Raider. Are they really a raider if they're just like sitting at their house and here I am showing up just like, hi, fuck you, I'm going to take all your stuff. Here we go. Ah, see, I knew there was a few things around here. This is why I like to come and look around real quick. Oh, a corpse, huh? Nice. Noodle cups. All right, here we go. There. Oh, can I take that pillow? There we go. Might as well. Sorry, lady. You're very clean, though, for being a dead body in a wasteland. I gotta give you props to that, Bethesda. You must have obviously figured out that people needed baths. Alright. Let's put that gun away. That's what I was looking for. Just little, little cabins and stuff that are out here. You might as well go ahead and pick up anything you can. Or at least I feel like you might as well. Ooh, do I really want to mess with these guys? Maybe not. Well, let's go for it. Come on! There we go, me. There we go. Come on, that should be a good one. And BAM! Yes! Fuck you all. Fuck you all. No, 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 no. Don't drink that. Don't drink that. Don't drink that. That's why I gotta stop pressing X. I only use square. Okay. There were three of them. Where's the third one? There we go. There we go. Nice. I know I've taken radiation damage. Cool down. We got this. Okay. There we go. All right. Now on to sanctuary. I suppose we should go. One thing you can do is if you want, you can actually kill all of these, these bloat flies. And I think it's kind of funny. They don't seem to, uh... They don't seem to attack quite as, as much if you kill them before Codsworth tells you they're there. Which is kind of awesome. But then when you go over to Codsworth, you have nothing to kill with him. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Why would you have Wonder Glue in you? That doesn't even make sense. Alright. We'll go talk to Codsworth in a second. I just want to make sure I got them all. Perfect. Let's reload real quick. All right, buddy. Oh, God, I forgot what a mess sanctuary is when you first get here. Oh, it's disgusting. All right. Hey, buddy. Codsworth? As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Oh, my God. This can't be happening. This isn't happening. Isn't happening? What are you talking about? Why, but you look distraught. Perhaps Sir can offer one of those hugs you humans are so fond of. Hmm? Speaking of which, where is your better half? They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them. They had guns and strange outfits. Mm, only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume more than a week early. Love that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Uh, not like you, Mum. You're the perfect mother. Uh, and the sir is, uh, uh, where is sir, by the by? He's in a better place. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. 
It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Doesn't matter how long it's been. I feel fine. A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It will take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're... Uh... Two centuries late for dinner! <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack! You must be famished! Codsworth, you're acting... a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mom, it's been just horrible! Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve! I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa, focus, Codsworth. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this holotape. I believe so was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. <coughs> and I investigate. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, mum. Mosquitoes. <laughs> I feel you, Codsworth. I love how he's not supposed to have feelings because he's a robot, but them is some fucking feelings. Go ahead, I already killed him. Let's go! To the house! Alright. <laughs> Alright, so after this, guys, is when I'm actually going to go ahead and install those, uh, carry as much as you damn well please mods, because let's be honest, I feel like carrying as much as I damn well please. Whee! Ooh, nice shot of, uh, my character's butt there. Because that's what y'all came here for. A little bit of fallout booty. Oh, come on. Nice. Alright, come on. Yes. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't keep up, Mum. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the, the people there have only shot at me a few times. I like these people already. Oh, good. Maybe you'll get along there, and they can help you find young Sean. I shall remain here and secure the home. Fabulous. All right, this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just pick up everything I can see. Oh, man, we don't own the settlement yet, but you guys know. Y'all know I'm going to be owning it very soon, and then I'm going to be wrecking everything. Oh, I cannot wait to build settlements. I can't wait to build settlements with uh, everything that's still in here. Oh, gosh. It's going to be so much fun.
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll head off to Concord. Let me know, obviously, in the comments here how you're feeling about having random stuff like all of the random uh, exploration and shit, or if you guys would like to only see missions, it's kind of up to you. What I might do is I might do, like, one mission video. I might do one exploration video, so it's kind of up to you guys. Let me know how you're feeling. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, though. I'll pick up everything in the neighborhood, and I'll see you guys back in just a bit. Oh, come on. Come on. No! Damn it, Bobby Pin. All right, so here we go. A couple different things to look in here. In the business of happiness. Wow, okay. Self-medicating with pie. Um, well, that's like my... Wow, okay. Well, here is all of our neighbors. In case you... Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Here's all of our neighbors so we can learn a little bit about them. Still trying to, be, <laughs> to get a Dixon buff out. Didn't expect the rationing to affect this. But it's what it is. All right. Want something called Psycho? Not sure this stuff even exists, and if it does... Okay, Russell. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, I've actually already done that one. So here's all the people that are still, uh, still around. Obviously these people are some drug dealers. Got some drugs going on up in here. It's usually a no-go, but this girl's got style. Wow. Okay, here we go. I mean, this is all pre-war. Damn. I mean, I had some, I had some crazy ass neighbors, I guess. Malcolm. Might be a cop trying too hard. I like it. Okay, there we go. I just want to show you that real quick because I found the ledger terminal. I, I remember reading a lot of this stuff, but I don't know how much of it I actually read. <laughs> All right, let's grab the medics. I know when I went through this game to begin with, I was just, like, so excited. I, like, could not stop to read anything. I was just so fucking excited. Okay. So I just want to show you that real quick. We're going to go ahead and go back. I'm still working on uh, cleaning up Sanctuary, and then I'm going to go ahead and install bots. But I wanted to go ahead and show you what I was finding. So, Hawthorns. Drug dealers. Naughty. Oh. Oh, I hear you. Where are you? Where are you? Aha! Red Roach. One of the things I do love about uh, using VATs, even if you don't have any action points, is that you can use VATs. And then just get out of it, and you'll be aiming right at the critter. Like, it's perfect. It's just, it's like, I don't know. It's like they knew you were going to need vats to help you shoot, because this game sucks at shooting. <laughs> I mean, again, though, it's not designed to be a first-person shooter, so that's why it would suck at shooting. All right. God, there's so many mods. I'm just, I'm so excited to install now, because I needed, a, like, a new game to install them. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and explore the rest of the houses, install the mods, as I said I would. I just wanted to show you what I was finding here in Sanctuary, since there was new stuff to find, of course. I did find the Grognak and the Jungle Babies. Grognak. I'll be back in a bit, guys. I wish you could kind of pick up that thermometer. I bet you it's got mercury in it. Mercury would be helpful, I'm just saying. Could probably use mercury for something. Oh, look at this. I get to pick a safe... Oh, it's advanced. Hmm, I gotta learn. Okay. Hey guys, thank you so much for being here for that Fallout video. I really do appreciate it, guys. I can't tell you enough. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me, guys. Helps other people find the videos. And of course, guys, it is a huge motivation to keep going forward. Remember that there are new Fallout videos every Friday for Fallout Friday. So I'll see you guys back on the next one. In the meantime, if you want to subscribe to the channel, click on that picture of my big dumb head that should be popping up on your screen there very quickly, as well as a list to all of my Fallout videos, as well as a random video that YouTube thinks you'd like. Thank you, guys. Guys, I'll see you.